welcome back to my channel it's morgan here if you're new welcome if you're returning welcome so today's video as you can see by the title i am going to be discussing ways that i have begun planning and thinking about how i'm going to get organized for switching to online classes i go to clark atlanta university and we have been on spring break for two weeks now and we're going to be transitioning to online classes for the rest of the semester and I'm I don't know like I've never taken online classes before so this is going to be a first for me so I'm really just trying to take the time to really think about how I want to get ready for this because I know it's a big switch for a lot of people so I felt like this would be a good video to do um, to show ways that I'm learning and then you guys give me feedback and say things in the comments please leave a comment if you have any suggestions any tips anything that will be helpful it's greatly appreciated so with that in mind I'm just gonna get right into the video okay guys so a couple of things that I'm going to be doing in this video um, I'm going to be setting up my agenda book with all of the updates that I've gotten from my professors for whether it's online work or assignments that are due or whatever it is. I'm going to be planning out my agenda book um, and just getting that organized. I'm also going to be planning out my computer setup, so organizing my folders on my computer, setting up my Google Drive and everything I'm going to use for that, and my school's um, email address that they give us um, that they mainly interact with us on is through Outlook, so Microsoft Outlook, so I'm going to be setting up my calendar for that and show you guys how I block out my times and stuff. And then I'm also gonna just talk a little bit about um, my school's platform that we use for our school's um, schoolwork mainly is Canvas. I know a lot of schools use Canvas, some use Blackboard, but Clark uses Canvas, so I might be referring to that a little bit. So if you guys don't know what that is, that's what it is. It's just our like school's platform where all of our work usually is. So that's what I'm mainly gonna be talking about in this video, maybe some other things, but those are like the main little points so I'm gonna start with wow I need my laptop ow um okay guys so the first thing I'm gonna be doing is really going through all of the emails that I've received from my professors um because I am taking six different classes so I need to really sit down and organize and look at what each teacher really sent out. So, um, well, I guess I should just show you guys my agenda book first. So, this is my agenda. It's kind of rubbed off a little bit right here, but it says 2020. It just says woman with a plan. Um, so, this agenda book I found at Target. If I can find the link, I'll link it. I love, I literally love this planner like it has stickers and um like especially if you have a business or if you're planning on starting one they have a lot of tips and um saving goals and like business tips and kind of about taxes and just literally so much good stuff like in here so it's really great like every week you can set a mantra for the week you can set um networking goals people you want to reach back out to inspiration blogs that you really wanted to know and read that you didn't have time to read during the week um self-care to do's um and you can keep yourself accountable they tell you to mark off like how many you completed like the total amount it's just really nice um you can set weekly goals so obviously i was uh, kind of busy i was filling mine out during the semester <laughs> um but at the end of each month at the end of each month they have a little notes page and then um i didn't fill this out but you can write events to attend you guys can see that you can write events to attend money that came in and out your wins victories of any size um are worth celebrating that's what it says and you can literally just Make yourself feel good, celebrate yourself, celebrate the little things in life, you know. And then at the bottom, um, they have like a little sketch thing if you want to just sketch some things, you know. Um, so I'm going to actually just take advantage and save paper and use 
the note section on this end of the month little check-in um, reflective thing and I'm just going through my emails and um, really just checking in on each class and I'm going to mark down um, really like what I have for each class so once I do that I'm going to come back and show you guys what I wrote down and then we'll go from there. Okay guys, so I'm done going through all my emails and I have written out all of my notes. So only one of my professors hasn't said anything to me and it's a class that I'm cross-registered at at Morehouse and at first I was thinking like, okay, maybe she forgot to send me the message since I'm the only girl, like I'm not in their account. But she didn't send out anything because I reached out to people in the class and they said she still hasn't said anything. So we will see if she ends up saying something. I'm going to send her an email probably first thing in the morning. Um, hopefully she responds. She's I don't I don't know, but whatever. We're just gonna we're gonna deal with it, okay? Um, this is a part of the challenge, obviously. So like. Most of my professors, what they're doing is, well, not most, a good amount of them are having Zoom, 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 <laughs> Zoom meetings <laughs> um, at the time that we normally meet for class. So, like, um, we just would log on, little video chat um, for, like, the normal hour and 15 or whatever it is that we would meet. And that's it every day, um, just like that. But my humanities class like she gave us a full schedule already of what we have to do everything's going to be online so like exams everything so she gave us that so that's on canvas and then my physical science class that's on canvas like everything is on canvas and then for my dance class is a lot different so it's very, it's a lot. We have to do a weekly class log. We have to do the, the three live stream check-ins. She has all the dates and stuff on the syllabus. Like we update the syllabus. We have to do a performance paper on something we watch. And we have to film a solo at the end and do a self-reflection paper. So it kind of shifts that class because, like, how do you take a dance class online? So, yeah. So it's going to be a lot of work, but we're going to just gonna deal with it so now that I have it written out on paper and minus that one class um we're gonna just focus on organizing my laptop so other than my laptop I like to take handwritten notes and sometimes typed up notes so since half the semester literally since we took midterms right before spring break um, was in person. I have notebooks like single subject notebooks like for every class that I had so I don't have to go out and like buy notebooks because I already have some so that works out but um, if you don't you probably could just get like one notebook with like four or five subjects depending on how many like classes you have to take um, so that you could just have an opportunity like sometimes like your professor may post the slides or something and then like give them to you later so you can go back in depth but you know like sometimes your professor like doesn't put everything on the slides like some things you really have to pay attention to what they're saying so like if you have to take quick notes and you don't want to type it like you can literally like be handwriting stuff and then go back and reference it later if you really want to type up like full length of like nice well written out notes for later use you know so that's what you definitely need. You definitely need like some pens and pencils. I love highlighters, so um <laughs> yeah, so I think getting super organized and color coordinated and just using all of your resources properly um is definitely going to help with this process. Um now that I'm sitting here like holding these highlighters, I think I'm gonna just choose a color for each class and just um always stick with that color for my agenda book and on my online calendar so we're going to shift now from this portion to actually setting up my computer so the next phase you guys are going to see my computer screen on the screen 
and be able to see what I'm doing just to get my stuff together. So, yeah. So, I'm about to do that. And, um, yeah, so, I mean, I might fade in and out between the two, but for the most part, I'm going to just be showing you guys my computer screen so that you guys can see how I'm about to get organized. Okay. Oh. Okay, so I'm about to start with my desktop. So I have a folder called school already, right? Um, in this school folder, I'm going to create a new folder called Online Classes Spring 2020, okay? And then we're going to go inside of that folder. And what we're going to do is we're going to create folders for each of my classes so that I can organize it already before we even start. So I'm going to have one for humanities. I'm going to have one for discrete structures. I'm going to have one for intro to computer I'm just gonna simulation analysis shorten that um, I'm gonna have one for dance well, I'm gonna call it what it is I'm gonna call it what it is intermediate ballet and then we're gonna have one for French and we're also gonna have this isn't on my oh I'm tripping I'm tripping physical science I think that for my courses where I have um, the full schedule already laid out for those classes I will be able to manipulate that a little easier and make like folders for week one week two week three whatever but for the classes where we're meeting face to face every day, those are gonna be still based off of like a different curriculum that I don't have like full access to yet. So I don't really know the full layout of the modules or whatever it is. So with that being said, um, I'm just gonna leave them um, like this. I think what I may do is I'm gonna go in and make a folder for notes and then a folder for homework and um I think that'll be it for now because um at least that's just like a basis and in each of those folders I can be more specific so if I have homework called homework five or whatever I just would make sure that's what I named it so that I know what it is um if I need to go back to it in my, my notes that's when I could like really personalize it and say week one week two but for classes where I'm meeting face to face, like it's really difficult to, you know, do that. Did I spell this wrong? Yeah, I put a capital I. Um, so I'm gonna do the same for the other class that I meet that I'm meeting every like class period with homework and notes. And then so this is like gonna be my basic setup for my online classes as of now. Um what I am going to do next is my school uses Microsoft Outlook. Please, my emails look crazy right now, but um, they were worse. So, <laughs> but um, my school uses Microsoft Outlook like I discussed earlier. So I'm going to be showing a little bit of that right now. I'm going to go to my email. I'm going to blur it out so you guys can see it. Just relax. Um, so this is my Outlook app on my MacBook. It's probably an app for, like, non-Macs, but I just downloaded the Outlook app so that it's easier. I don't have to go type in the website and do all of that. I can just literally click on the app and open up my mail just like that. Um, same with my phone. I have the app for the Outlook on my phone. It is so much more convenient. You get the alerts on your phone. You get the outlook calendar on that same app as well so it's very 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 convenient so when you download 
this, um, when you download this app onto your computer, you get the same functionalities. So, if I go down to this little bottom section right here, there's a little button that has like a small little calendar. If you click on that, it opens up your calendar, right? So, this is the standard layout of the Outlook calendar. Mine is in dark mode, that's why it looks like this. Um, but you like it may look different it's just in a different color um so this is for this upcoming week because you know the week starts with sunday in america so um what i'm gonna do is i'm going to go through all of my classes um and mark when i am going to be meeting so remember when i brought up the color coordinated Remember when I brought up the color coordinated highlighters? This is when that's going to come in handy. So, <laughs> I'm going to pick a color for each of my classes. And then when I put it in my calendar, I'm going to... I don't know what that was. <gasps> the top. Um... I'm going to pick a color, right? Sorry, I'm all over the place. And that's just going to match up there. And that way when I write it in my agenda book, I already see the color and I can just highlight it. Like, I put a little mark so I know that that's the color and then my brain will process that that's the class. I mean, right away I won't be able to recognize it, but I'm going to write the class name in person and go with it. And I'm doing the laptop first because I feel like it's easier to copy from an already set calendar than to have to do it by, I don't know. Um, we're going to make another appointment and this is going to be intro to computer simulations analysis lab. Okay. There, we're going to put that in there. Um, it's a Zoom meetings. Um, we're going to make it Eastern time zone. We're going to categorize it as green. We're going to do a reoccurrence on every Friday. Um, the start date is the 27th. And that's the first day of it. And then it ends on May. And then the start time is 2 p.m. And it goes until 2.50. It's just 50 minutes. Just a lab. It's weekly. And we are going to save and close. And so now we're starting to have a little, you know, schedule going. Make sure it's on the next week too. Okay, cool. So, now that we have those done, those were the easy ones. Because they literally were just the same time as my normal class. So, now I have to... I'm going to not show you guys all of this because you guys don't need to see all this. But I'm just going to basically go through the classes that have like the full schedule online and just go ahead and convert all of that and add it to my schedule. I'm going to show you an example of how I'm going to set up um, the classes that I just have work to do. I'm not like logging in for a class or anything. I just have to do an assignment that's already given to me a full list of assignments so what I'm gonna do go up here again to new items click the little arrow and then I'm gonna hit task instead right and then the name of this task I just literally copied um, her title but I'm actually just probably gonna put that in notes right here I'm gonna put the title to be humanities assignment Um, I'm going to put a due date and a start. So it has to be, it's between the 26th and it starts the 24th. Um, I don't really know what those errors do. <laughs> um, so... It starts between 24th and it's due on 
Oh, why do I keep doing that by accident? Okay, 24 through 26. Um, her notes are already in here. Review movie on YouTube, Unchained Memories. Um, I'm going to just put Unchained Memories up there just so I can have it. I'm going to give myself a reminder um, on the morning of at 8 a.m. And then I'm going to categorize this class as yellow because she loved highlighting in class. So I'm going to call her the yellow category. And um, it says high priority um, because I need to stay on top of it. So I'm just going to save and close. Really? <laughs> Okay. Oh wow. Oh, man. Okay, we're gonna try this again. I didn't realize that the task went in another category. So I'm gonna put it like this. So I can read it. Um this is high priority. Um remind it starts on the twenty-fourth. And it's through the 26th. I'm going to remind myself on the 24th at 8 a.m. I'm going to go to what she posted and just... Then I just have this. And that looks right. I'm going to save and close. And now it's... Okay, so I was thinking it was going to show in your calendar, but it actually shows in your task. Um, it's not a bad idea. I'm going to mark it as yellow. Okay guys, so this is my screen um, when I first go into Outlook. I'm going to click on this calendar button down here and that's going to take me to my Outlook calendar. So I didn't record this whole process because it just took way too long to be going back and forth and you guys don't need to see all of that. But for the most part, this is all of my schedule blocked out for the month. I know it looks kind of crazy. Let's maybe look at it at a week standpoint. So I have something that's due every Sunday, so I just put it for the whole entire week, so I just know to do that. And then I marked all of my classes and scheduled times that we meet in the actual calendar, and then um, a couple like check-ins and Zoom meetings that I have to do. I have those already logged in here, but then there's this other category with this little like clipboard and check mark called task, and I click on that. And here is all of my task for my work. I literally went through the classes that gave me a full layout of the schedule and did every single one and color coordinated them and marked them with priorities and dates and links and whatever else I needed. And also in these courses, I also put, um, I put reoccurrences like I showed you guys and, um, if I go on here, you guys can see, like, in the notes, like, I'm waiting for this class for the link. That's on Tuesday, so he'll probably send it later. But, like, for my French class, um, you can see I have all of the notes and stuff already in here with the link and everything to log into class. So, that is that. And... That is my setup mainly for my courses and for um, my assignments. I literally went through every single class and schedule and syllabus and everything that was given and put it directly on here so that it would be automatically on my laptop and on my phone so I would get a set reminders and those reminders will go to my laptop and to my phone. So if I open up my computer, it'll give me a reminder like, hey, this task is due tomorrow or like whenever I set it to remind me. So now I'm going to show you guys briefly. Um, I discussed that my school uses um, Outlook and Microsoft, so in Office 365. So if you click on these squares in the corner, and click on OneDrive, you can create um, files and stuff. So I'm going to create a new folder, just like I did on my desktop, but this one will be for like, um, this is more of like for the cloud-based stuff, 
So like some like hard copy documents and just things that I'll save on my computer that I'm just saving and going or if I'm downloading some slides or something and I need to put it somewhere, I'll put it in those hard boulders that I made on my desktop. But when I want to create documents or PowerPoints or anything for the class, um, I'm going to be doing it on the cloud so that I can just do it wherever I am. I need to do it on the phone because they have apps for this. So if I need to do it on the go, um, but I don't know where I would be going, but you know, if I can't get on my laptop, if somebody has to use my laptop or something, I don't know. But we're going to do the same thing like we did on the desktop and we're going to call this online classes spring 2020. And we're going to create that folder and then we're going to go in that folder and we're going to just do the same thing again and create all new folders for all of my courses. So we have discrete French. So we have oops and humanities. Okay, so these are all my courses and then like say for example um for ballet I have to write a paper. So I click on that folder and you can see where I am files on my classes spring 2020 then going into intermediate ballet. I can hit new and I can make a word document, excel sheet, powerpoint, one note notebook. I can literally do a lot of things. So that way it's already organized and I have somewhere to put it all my stuff all ready. So that makes it a lot easier. And then even if I don't do it directly in that folder I can always save it to this folder that's in my OneDrive. So now I'll have access to this literally wherever I am. So that is the bulk of that. Okay, so I just showed you guys my laptop and stuff um, with everything I did to set up my stuff online. And like I was kind of explaining earlier, I did it that way because I just felt like it was easier to copy it to my like hard copy agenda book um, if it was already up on my screen because it took me a while, I'm not gonna lie, to go through all of my classes. Um, and really go through um, the syllabus, syllabi, and um, figure out what I had to do for each class when we were meeting, um, the classes that weren't meeting online, I had to figure all of that out and figure out where all the assignments were listed, and I found all of those, and then I literally went through and put those in, put the descriptions of them, put the due dates, put reminders, put everything in place so that there's no reason why I shouldn't be doing something. Um, so I had to go through and um, basically do all of that. So that was the bulk of the time spent. Um, it's not hard to put it in, but it's actually doing that extra step ahead to get you further so that now I feel like I could get ahead in my classes and get a lot of stuff out of the way so I can have more of my day or have a longer weekend even though this whole quarantine feels like a long weekend but we're just gonna leave that alone um but yeah so I'm doing that and that took forever but we're here and I added it to my agenda I will show you guys that and I did color coat with my highlighters um I love one. Okay, so I did my agenda book and um, for the most part my schedule is pretty consistent in the layout. There's a couple times like for a couple of my classes where we have meetings scheduled but I marked those because they were given to me in advance so I made sure I marked them already so I know what times um, that I have to block it off. Um, after I start this process I do think I will go back and reevaluate and make sure that what I put in place is actually working and conducive to what 
I have to do for class like because I don't know what to expect fully I've never taken online classes like I said so this is new to me so I'm just doing and suggesting things to you all that I think would be helpful in preparing for online class um, because I know this um, is a big change for a lot of people we didn't sign up to do online classes so a lot of people just it's a lot of stress, a lot of new things, so I wanted to really, you know, bring that forward. And like, I mean, like I was explaining with this agenda book, like you can put a mantra for the week. And mine for this week that I just wrote, I didn't even look this up, I just wrote it. I was, I just put, um, my mantra for this week is there is growth and change. Um, so I just put that because this is the first week, it's going to be so different. Um... It's going to be new, but I have to be open to it because I still am a college student. I still am expected to learn, still expected to grow from this. Um, everything happens for a reason, so I'm just going to keep pushing, and I'm sure everything's going to work out. But the colors that I put in this agenda book are the same colors that I chose for my Outlook calendar so that my brain would associate the colors and kind of put them together. Like, even as I was writing it and it was a pattern, throughout writing the whole thing I can't remember like oh ballet is purple oh French is orange oh discrete structures is blue like I could remember so if you get your brain in that kind of color coordinated start like way of thinking um I think it'll help you to get more organized you're like oh, okay I can associate this with this um so those are my main points for now I will definitely um reevaluate and if I feel like it's necessary I will make a part this is for a part two um to this clip um clip what to this video <laughs> um i definitely will i hope this helps somebody please leave a comment below if this helped you or if you if this helped you or if you have tips for me or for everybody else watching that would be very helpful if you leave something below but if you guys enjoyed this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up and be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos from me since i'm gonna be in the house more you should be expecting way more of this face so if you guys want to see more of this type of content well not like this but more from me please be sure to give this video a thumbs up leave a comment down below and hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys soon bye cute <laughs>